from Brayton, all right, um, onto Salpan Road. Caribbean Estate is actually on your right. You would make the left here. So this is a new road that they that they created. All right. This is a new road that they created here. Um, a Salpan way so. What is the name of so? I think a Salpan. Salpan community is on your right, but we are um, driving along this new road to the entrance of what they call Phoenix Park Village 2. If you guys know Phoenix Park Village, and if you guys are in love with Phoenix Park Village, then this Phoenix Park Village 2 would be perfect for you. Hoping that you would have caught our previous videos. If you didn't, then you can certainly go back backtrack on our channel. We did a video on Phoenix Park Village 2. We toured their model unit as well. Yes, the model units are on your right here. So the site office, they, they relocated the site office from the original Phoenix Park Village. So everything, now, all their activities are now um, being done over on this side. Um, yeah, but the entrance, but the entrance to Phoenix Park Village is up this way. Yeah, man, so we are going to go up and enter all right mm -hmm. our friends living over there so we can get access all right so we're gonna go over to you know give you a good tour of the community i know a lot of you guys um you are on the waiting list you have paid your deposit anxiously you know waiting. anxiously awaiting your unit so we're gonna show you what phoenix park village 2 is looking like at this moment all right i'm so happy for you guys i remember when we were waiting for our unit and we were like crying, we were like going in search of, so we always used to come and we were like, ah, yeah, we can are. we, can, can we go and look around, can we, we are doing it for you guys, okay? We are doing it for you guys, we are yes. going to show you what's going on Yeah, we don't know, if we could have somebody, could have let we in them time there, you know? Yeah, even so we have video, Yeah, man. you know, we could see what's going on, how far we reach, yeah. for this, for that. Yeah, I'm happy for y'all. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So, guys, this is the reveal, the entrance. Very well done. All right, very upscale, very modern. Right, so the landscaping is going in slowly but surely uh, we re remember when we we first um, we first got control of our units over by Phoenix Park Village um, the, the outside was looking similar like this but they contracted um, landscape companies to to make out here a lot a lot nicer so yeah, you can expect see them over on this side all right See the guard house, a very nice modern design. See the guard house here with the wraparound window, you know, a futuristic design. You know, it's a, it's a quite a modern design element that I see a lot of new developers um, have these days. Of course, your unit wouldn't be looking like this, all right? And uh, see how the building cladding as well, some tiles they put on there. To, to spruce up the building, you know, make it look, make it look nice, all right? Then if you redo Phoenix Park Village um, guide house, <laughs> that's what I have to say. <laughs> they need to do, they need to do a do-over over there, okay? If you're not here in court, we need to do a do-over, okay? That's, y'all, y'all didn't do us justice, okay? <laughs> okay, we, we need a new one. Yeah, so across the street there is Phoenix Park Village. I think yeah, yeah, phase two slash phase three down this side. I think it's phase three. But either way, Phoenix Park Village one over across the street. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then directly here we have Phoenix Park Village two. Yeah man. Alright, so Okay, so we are in and this is what we're looking at thus far. We have houses on the left. We could go straight down this up first. As you see to the right, the houses them not finished by the right there, just to the left. I remember when our community was at this phase. Oh my god, we're now telling like it is nice and cozy at this phase. I hope they're having the same experience. 
you know it was a small you know this is what we're looking at now they're actually building the houses down that side i remember when our community was at this stage where when we moved in um we were there wasn't like a lot of houses around the guards were close by it was like um it was so close-knit there's yeah, a nice cozy a feeling very small number of residents and everyone knew everyone at that time you know yeah what did you know everybody them time there yeah everybody did just a plant them lawn and everybody was just oh yeah it was just so a nice little feeling uh, this reminds me of that i hope that they are enjoying that's the same feeling that we had yeah um this is it we are gonna have a, a roundabout right here uh, leading to to other to other blocks other know, phases that, yeah. we assume so the information is that phase one and two sold out already phase three has a pretty lengthy waiting list um so anybody who is interested you have to go after phase four and five and for that you have to contact gore at the soonest possible time go have a very long wait list <laughs> um the most recent information that i got is that the units are now for 16 million um two bedroom one bath is in phase one two and three phase through phase four and five will be bigger units uh yet to know we don't really know what those units will be like just yeah. quite yet are the size lots but all right uh, guys uh, if you want to have a good look at the you know a Inside. tour of the yeah. phoenix park village 2 development uh, we'll actually link that video in the description and in the pin comment as well mm -hmm. so check out that video if you want to have a good look at the phoenix park village two model unit um, inside uh, what's the square footage again babe i think it's 710 don't quote me 710 yeah it is 710 yeah 710 two, 710 two bed one bath mm -hmm. 2500 square feet and um, that's a that's a that's a large size yeah one thing to note um immediately what i noticed is that the large size is for phoenix park village two they are a lot smaller than over by um, the original Phoenix Park Village. Um, the lots here are um, 2,500 square feet, while over by Phoenix, the original Phoenix Park Village, they are like 4,000 square feet. So, um, yes, what you're able to do over here, you, you, you are a little bit more limited. Um, like say, for example, based on these lots here, um, towards the back, you could perhaps extend the kitchen and possibly add another room but that's about it. it it's very very difficult to like in our case how we actually built a whole new a bigger apartment you know yeah. to, to the rear of the building you you wouldn't necessarily be able to do that mm -hmm. here unless perhaps you ask them for a bigger a bigger lot which are like um few and far between just just a few maybe the odd corner that might have additional space that you 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 can have that luxury but um generally speaking the last year are smaller and it, it, it's a talking point but of course with um shrinking area for development developers um have to look to do you know measures like this because um phoenix park village two um i think this just this development should be around 3000 homes so i guess they they have to 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 um to bring down the size so that they can fit more homes right because um, sorry hold on because you can see there there um it's a lot of homes being built and the, the demand is there so i guess they have to give everybody a little share of the pie you know yes and just to note that unlike for like for phoenix park village you have three different um, models, three different model units. Here in phase one, two, and three, there's only one model unit, which is a 710, which is um, bigger technically than the six almost? 675. 675 that they would have offered in phase two and some of phase one over there. Over so, Phoenix Park Village, yeah, um, so, one, original Phoenix Park Village. 
Yeah, everything is easy is relative. Um, but yeah, this is what the community is looking like. And this is unique because we do have one of these in Trinity Park Village. Oh, this is like a pumping station, like a water commission pumping station. Yes. We, we don't have um, one like this inside. Mm -mm. But we know in, in this um, Bernard Lodge um, slash salt pond area, there are a lot of underground. There are a lot of springs, you know, underground. So yeah. I guess they're just extracting, extracting it, I guess. Um, I don't really know what's really going on, but this looks like a water commission um, property. property right here, you know? Yeah. Which is good too, because, the, um, because you know, you put less of a strain on the existing infrastructure that is in, that is in Portmore. Um, yeah. By the way, guys, I don't talk about that. I don't even know if me in a Portmore. I don't know where me there. <laughs> because <laughs> based upon based on, um, a new map that I saw, you know, Observer posted it. Mm -hmm. um, it, it seems to me like Phoenix Palace is cut off from, from, from Portmore. Yeah. So if someone in the comments know more about that, then they can definitely drop, drop some comments there mm -hmm. as well. And the rationale behind it as well, because based on my understanding from, you know, I live in Portmore over, over 30 years, based on my understanding of Portmore, um, this, this era was also Portmore, but um, those persons more knowledgeable than me can, can let me know, you know? Even, even Helsa, Adrian was letting me know, is also not a part of Portmore, which is quite odd. Yeah, based, <laughs> but, on, I mean, based on their projection, but it is not finalized yet. They, 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 um, they should come to us as residents, um, stakeholders, right? We are the persons that are living on this side, so they should come to us and, and engage us, you know? But yeah. Definitely. Um, this, is, this is where the construction zone starts, I guess. Yes. No, but there are persons, start, persons are living over that side already. Yeah. So yeah, wet, like, you, if you notice, like, some of the some of the street is asphalted some of them is not quite asphalted yet they still have gravel on the road mm -hmm. we were in this situation too i'm mean, like it brings back so much memories oh. so this is a like a very um very early stage because remember them still have 2024 they have stage they have phase two phase three phase four phase five to build it's gonna be a long time but look at this this is very unique well not unique but this is it's, one it's of big. the yeah this is like a retention area so yeah um, for, for for soak away, like storm drain, so when the water mm -hmm. will come from the street, it's it's washed down into this area. It so, accumulates right here. Yeah, this is so, a, this is a feature that I noticed I see in Portmore. I don't really see it anywhere else in the bay, but Portmore, yeah. where this is how they deal with their their water yeah, drainage, their because them, the retention area. Right, so let me explain to you what really going on with that. Our underground areas, there are a lot of aquifers there. There are a lot of water um. Water, water tables underneath so this area actually allows for more um water soaking so when you have such a big area the water accumulates here and then it soaks underneath so um th th there's very limited very very minimal risk of flooding you know yeah so basically there's an experience of what would happen like in our community when rain falls it's really heavy 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 we went to a really a period of heavy heavy rainfall about a year and a half ago and then you just see the water from everywhere just accumulate up in these places just to give you a, a more an example yes all the water that is coming off of the street yeah. from our communities out of our homes they are flooding the community flooding the streets flooding the home we have a very good drainage system yeah. Yeah. the water just runs down into this and accumulates it and it can come it, it has a pretty good area to accumulate because it can come really high up yeah. like for hours it came really high up you know yeah like in the hurricane like during hurricane time it can yeah. come a good way up and then it soaks it soaks yeah. through because the, the type of soil the type of soil is very very poor so it soaks and then it um it it it, it, it contributes back to to the under, underground water um stores that we have and then of course eventually the water can be pumped back out yeah guys so if you are interested this is it this is your glimpse into Phoenix Park Village 2. Tell us what you think. So if you guys are waiting 
if you guys are in the comment section watching this video and you're waiting to collect your keys let us know let us know let us know how excited you are but you are excited um but let us know your feelings your thoughts and if you guys missed out are you looking forward to your opportunity that could exist for phases four and five let us know okay Guys, one thing is noticeable is that the, the distance from the main to actually get into the community is pretty far. So I really wonder about those that actually walk, those persons that actually walk in, the school kids and other persons that walk in from the main. It, it, that that looks like a good 15 minutes walk that's to get to the gate of the, of the development. So I don't know, let, let us know. You know, how, how is that experience for you, those persons who actually live inside the community, all right? Yes. Yeah. So this is it for the tour of Phoenix Fire Village 2. Let us know your thoughts, if you enjoyed it. Um, what are your expectations if you are anticipating collecting your key? Would you like a unit over here? Yes. Chat us up in the comment section, start a conversation with us, all right? Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Turn on your post notification bell and then so all right. Yes, the one with the dancing symbol at the side. All right, give us a big thumbs up on this and every other video. Binge watch our content like, literally, sit down and watch our content. It makes sense, okay? Yep, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. All right, peace. peace. Mm -hmm. All right.